So this is the problem that I would have at the Elizabeth mine. The trains would come in and arrive on this track with my handbrake. And then that little handbrake would then get in the way the caboose. Now the caboose just stops there naturally. But you have to push back on the train to get slack. And at times when, when the operators would push back, it would do that. It would just derail, derail the caboose or just bounce it around at worst. So I had to come up with a solution for using that handbrake for stopping the train to remove the engines. And thanks to Neil, I came up with a adaptation. Let's show you. This is what Neil showed in his blog post. He has ON30 rail, a little copper tubing pushed down through the rail, a piece of steel rod, the curved bent top on there that will be attracted to the rare earth magnet. He then takes a piece of rolling stock and has a rare earth magnet between it, just holding on by the screw that holds the truck on. And when it goes over, that steel rod is deployed and it holds that car tight it's not going anywhere not anywhere so here's basically my parts list after drilling the hole i didn't have a copper tube like neil so i had some styrene square tubing with a hole I had my steel rod the steel rod is a ks engineering a 5.5 music wire because I had my rare earth magnets and then I found that they needed some weight so I put a washer on the uh, steel weight and then I just clamped them on with these mini things I uh, put a little graphite on the stick too to make it slide up and down quicker my first test car was just the basic test car from Micromark and here you can see I put a weight on there and man it picks up that washer right away the next one was a reefer car that I had that I permanently attached to magnitude to do some testing my friend gave me that and then finally on one of my nice repeato cabooses here I used a temporary glue, a little scenic glue because I didn't want to wreck the detail parts and I have my rare earth magnet on the bottom of that that we will be giving a test. So that's basically the parts that I used to do my brake. So here's my arrival track at the Elizabeth mine. And the trains come in. Here you can see the former brake, and here is the new one. I drilled a hole and put the plastic piece in there, and the little metal pin comes out. And then the engines will pull up to here. You can see there's a non-delayed magnet in the tracks, and that's where we have to uncouple and then they go run around to go remove the caboose. And that's what we'll show you. We'll use our movable magnets. So hopefully 
the new brake works so much better. Now also underneath, you can see my Rube Goldberg weight system I have on this right now. Just to pull it back down to get away from the magnetic things. So, let's show you how this operates. So the mine run is arriving on the middle track with his 10 up your cars and his caboose. And that engine has to pull up to get past that uncoupling. And as I said before, you back up to get slack and our lovely caboose would derail then because it's pushed on the axles. And there he made it. And there, our magnet is deployed. It changes directions. Put a little slack in this. And he hasn't moved. And I'll change directions. And away he goes. And that one little magnet is holding that caboose and 10 empty ore cars that are weighted properly on that grade. And now we'll show you how we can uncouple it and pull that caboose away. Now we're going to pull the caboose and put it on the near track and then we'll go get the loads at the mine. So now we'll deploy the standard arrival track brake to hold your cars in place. So I'll position them. Activate our brake, then we'll activate our newest toy right there, which is our movable magnet. And away we go. There we have hands-free operations. And now we can go up there, we'll pull the loads, put them on the caboose, deploy the standard handbrake departure, move over to the empties, push them up to the mine, come back, and depart. Pretty nifty.